Hey everybody, welcome back to the Speakeasy for another edition of Bourbon Heritage Month in the month of September. Today we are taking a look at Kentucky Owl. Now this is Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey um, founded by C.M. Deadman. Now this is batch 12 blended from bourbons ranging from 4 to 14 years old. And every new batch is an original with its own unique taste profile, carefully, black, carefully crafted by master blender John Rhea. Or Ray. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Now here's the crazy thing. These things, MSRP is $400 to $500 per bottle. No, I did not pay that. Um, story goes, I, well, the story is, I bought this for 99 bucks. Um, actually, I bought two. We got another one up there, so I spent $200 on 800 to 1,000 dollars worth of whiskey, supposedly as an MSRP. Now, whenever I asked my store, I won't call out the store or anything. Well, yeah, I will because they advertised it online for 99 bucks. So Spirit Shop here in Norman advertised these for $99, and when I asked them what the uh, deal was, they said, well, uh, they think that they overloaded the market in Texas, so uh, the ones that they couldn't sell in Texas, they shipped to Oklahoma. So thank you, Texans, for spending your four or $500 per bottle on this stuff and leaving the leftovers for 99 bucks for us here in Oklahoma. Much appreciated. Kentucky Owl was founded by Charles Mortimer Deadman in 1879 and operated until prohibition became law in 1916. At this time, the government took 250,000 gallons of bourbon and quote unquote stored it for safekeeping until one night when the warehouse the liquor was stored in burned to the ground. The story continues that oddly for a building filled with alcohol, the fire only lasted a matter of hours, leading many to believe that the entire illicit stock of Kentucky Owl had been whisked away by organized crime to fuel their booming speakeasies. A hundred years later, the great-grandson of Mr. Deadman revived the family business and set about blending a bourbon worthy of the Kentucky Owl name. This process took six years, and in 2014, a series of unique batches started being released with batch number one. Today, we're reviewing batch number 12, Kentucky Owl. So Kentucky Owl is owned by the Stoley Group USA. Now the Stoley Group is not a um, American business. Now the Stoley Group USA might be, but that would be a subsidiary of the Stoley Group, which is a foreign business. So not too crazy about these foreign companies coming in, buying up our classic American companies. Anyhow, this one is 115.8 proof. That's 57.9% alcohol. Now that is outside my preferred window. This is batch number 12. It was bottled in August of 22. So this thing is two years old in the bottle. There you go. Let's see what we're going to get here. Color-wise, we're looking at a nice caramel color. Um, not too dark, not too light. And it looks like most good charred barrels, aged in good charred barrels. Um, again, that is, it's going to be, I predict going to be a little hot for my palate, but it's probably going to smell really good and sweet. Yeah. It's got a sweet smell. It's not so hot that it, it really burns. I mean, I can, you inhale deeply real fast. You'll get a little bit of a burn in your nostrils, but taking a nice, easy whiff of that smells good. I smell some vanilla. A little bit of oak. See that um, they said the aroma note should be sweet spice and caramel with a hint of butterscotch and a long 
bouquet, a pleasant aroma. And I think probably I do smell the butterscotch. Yeah, that, that and some vanilla. Man, smells great. Tasting notes, you should get a pleasant rush of warm spice running across the tongue along with a robust caramel and cream sensation filling all the taste buds, pleasantly melting into hints of passion fruit and spicy citrus. That is a lot of stuff going on there. As a finish, it should be long and pleasant as the caramel and cream lingers like an unsuspecting invitation. Okay. Now I can Im say immediately, I get a nice sweet flavor on my lips, on my tongue. It is a little hot, um, not to be unexpected at 115 proof, but that fades really quickly, surprisingly. Um, what else they say? Robust caramel and cream. Um, caramel, yeah, cream, not so much. But that is really, really good. Um, wow. Okay. That, that, um, I don't think you're going to need much water, ice. Um, if you like a sweeter bourbon served neat, I would definitely recommend this. Let's see what that little bit of water does. This is probably the highest proof that I've ever run across that I could sip neat. Now, it would be a slow sip, but it would be one of those where if I'm sitting out on the back porch and it's 60 degrees, 65 degrees, maybe a blanket over my lap, yeah. If you're up in the mountains, sitting on the porch, watching the snowfall, <laughs> that's your bottle right there. Wow, yeah. I was really not expecting um, that bottle to be this good. That's got a great flavor to it. Um, I'm really, really glad I only paid $99 a bottle. Um, at $400 a bottle, I would have wanted it. I would have wanted to try it because who doesn't want to try a $400 bottle of, of bourbon? But I sure wouldn't have wanted to spend that much money for it. I wouldn't even want to spend that much money for it knowing how good it is now. Just because I think um, if you're going to go spend $400 on a bottle of bourbon, you probably have money to burn. I don't. Uh, so I'm going to stick with the $100 uh, preferably and, and try not to stay, um, try not to go out and blow a lot of money. But man, that's a great, great bottle of bourbon. I'll be looking forward to the next future batches of Kentucky Owl. So I'm going to say this one was a very, very pleasant surprise worth getting a bottle. Batch 12, Kentucky Owl, if you can. Obviously, if you can do it for less than $400, if you can do it for less than $200, if you can do it for $100, absolutely do that. Great, great whiskey. Pleasant, pleasant surprise there. Hey, thanks for tuning in for another edition this month of Bourbon during Bourbon Heritage Month. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends and family. Come back and see us next week. See what's going to pop up for Bourbon Heritage Month.